Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly tip. All right, today's tips about how you can mass import databases over to command. So since command is officially launching this weekend, you may want to start to move over your database. All right, so in order to mass import this, this may help out tremendously. So right when you sign into agent.kdb.com, right on the home page, you're going to see the contact section. All right, so you can access this from the home page or, of course, over here on the left-hand side under contacts. All right, so once I click on this, this is going to show my entire database of who I currently have in here. All right, and as you can see, then I can view last visited, last contacted, system tags, custom tags, stage, primary phone, primary email, and even updated on here. All right, and once they are added in, you can even click on the little three dots over here where you can edit the contact, you can add an activity, you can share the contact, add a note, or you can even archive them. Archive is the main way to delete a contact, all right, and once they're archived, then you can actually bulk delete them too. All right, so when taking a look at this real quick, if I did want to mass import a CSV file, though, I can click the import option up here at the top right. I can download the pre-made CSV to upload your contacts into KDB command, all right, and then I can just drag and drop it over here. I can click on here to add it in. All right, so all you'll need to do is click on the download option, all right, and once I download that, here we go. It's going to pop up for me, so let me move that over here for you guys. All right, so it's technically not a CSV file. It's actually an Excel file. So I'm going to go through, and I'm going to delete this up here. All right, and then we can actually go through and add inside any of the different items that we want to. All right, so I could add inside first name on here. And I'll put inside support. Uh, here we go. Awesome. I can add inside the full legal name too. All right, and this is how it'll pop up for us. I can add inside the mobile phone, country code, obviously a <laughs> home phone on here. I don't know why I said country code. All right, but then I can add this in as well. All right, in addition to that, I can add inside the email on here too. All right, so you don't have to go through and manually type this in like I am right now. I'm just showing you a simple way to add this in. All right, but then once we add all those items in that we want to display on here, all right, then we're definitely more than welcome to save this, all right, and then import it right away. Now, since it does have to be a CSV file, I haven't tried it as the Excel file that it gives you. So I'm going to go ahead and click File. I'm going to save this as over here. I'm going to go to my desktop to add this in. All right, I'm going to save this as a CSV file. Perfect. There we go. If this comes up, some features in your workbook might be lost. We're going to click Yes. Now we're all good to go. So I can technically upload this right away. Now, the reason I want to show you this Excel file that we'll then need to save as CSV is if you happen to have your contacts in another system, all right, then you can export that and basically just copy and paste everything over. Now, to be safe, I am leaving all the different headers up here as is because more likely those will have to remain the same. All right, but now if I go back over to my KDB command platform, I can drag and drop it, or I always like to do the old school method of I like to click to browse. All right, so if I do that, then I can click right on here. All right, so once I click on that, here's my contacts, and then I can import this immediately. All right, so as you can see, submitted. All right, we received your import request, and your contacts will be available soon. Based on the amount of contacts you imported, this could take several minutes. All right, so I only added inside one, so if I refresh this, more than likely it'll pop up, it already has. All right, so here we go. So we have SLM support, last contacted two years ago, because I have it linked up with my kdb.com email for Gmail. I've got the phone number on here, All right, and then once again, I can click on this to actually view that contact as well. All right, so just to give you a heads up, and this will actually pull up the email that I sent out from what I have set up under my settings and my connected apps or my integrations on here. All right, but then I can actually add inside opportunities. I can add inside notes. I can view the calendar. I can add inside an activity. All right, I can view additional items on here as well. All right, so there's a bunch that you can actually go through and tweak for this particular contact. All right, now one thing to note, though, whenever you are doing a mass import, Whenever you update this, so say if you're adding in, you know, 500, 600, 1,000 contacts, whenever that's completed, and it doesn't take very long to import, which is the good news, all right, I would suggest clicking on your name up here and then going to Settings, all right, because once you go to Settings, over here on the left-hand side under Command Settings, you can actually view the import logs, all right, so if I click on Import Logs on here, then I can actually view my logs, all right, so on here, for instance, Date started, imported literally the same minute, one contact was imported, zero failed on here. I can download the original file, and I can even download the error file on here to see what might be blocking it too. All right, so this is a pretty cool little item on here where you can always keep your contacts and be able to download it right away. All right, so that's a really nice feature on there. So I just want to show you how simple it is to mass import a database into command. So there you go. So that is your BindKW tip for the day.